Solid Rock Trust is written and directed by Rick Ives. And this is his feature independent film debut. A practical thriller filled with smart little details. Maddie is a hacker that orchestrates an elaborate bank heist from an abandoned building with only a collection of cell phones and a unique talent. But when things spin out of control, she will only have her wits to hold it all together. The way the information is shared with the audience is key. The introduction makes it perfectly clear that this is in fact a bank robbery. All the action happens inside a warehouse, or at least that's all we see. So in a way, it kind of reminded me of Reservoir Dogs. The great thing about Solid Rock Trust is that it never gets boring. There is always something happening, something that changes the original plan and forces the main characters to think outside the box. Plot-wise, the rules keep getting rewritten pretty much scene after scene. During the first 10 or maybe 15 minutes of the film, everything is just so intriguing. But as the movie moves forward and complications arise, we get to know all the details about the heist and the specific roles of all of those involved. Initially, you may think it's impossible for a movie to keep a high level of tension for 90 plus minutes when 99% of the action happens inside a warehouse with just one character talking over a cell phone and looking at computer screens. But Ives manages to make our time worthwhile. It takes a lot of creativity to shot the entire film in the same space and not make it repetitive. The camera position switches constantly and keeps finding different ways to portray the very same environment. Solid Rock Trust is a great example of practical filmmaking, using limited resources to its benefit and shaping a gripping heist movie filled with twists and turns to craft a story full of surprises up until the very end. So I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching, Solid Rock Trust is already available on Amazon Prime Video. So if you happen to see it, please feel free to return to this review and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel, so if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.